These green cubes, you see me using a lot of recipes as my hybrid version of sofrito or green seasoning or a master marinade. It's something I customize to my own taste. Just a quick note, you can use hot pepper in this recipe. I don't, I tend to add my pepper in my recipe because I often cook for people who don't want heat. So up to you. This is a guaranteed flavor bomb. So what we're gonna do is start with an onion, a whole onion, a half a red bell pepper, a full green bell pepper, and a half like, I think three pieces of green onion or scallion, however you call it. I'm starting with the onions and stuff so I can get a little liquid going in my blender. I don't like to dilute mine with water, so I just blend as I go to make sure I have nothing but flavor. So we're gonna use four bulbs or four heads of garlic. Yes, it's a lot of garlic. Yes, it's a pain. If you can get the pre-pilled, that's fine. They didn't have it, so I had to peel four whole heads of garlic, but you really need that. And I added in little by little to make sure that it blends smooth. It's really important because we use this as a flavor bomb. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. And use it as a marinade. You can put a few cubes, melt them out, and put them in with your fried chicken. You can put it in a, any kind of flavored rice. You put it to the pot, um, and it just really does a lot of work for you, right? So then we're gonna put one bunch of cilantro. I clip the ends, not the whole stem, just the very end that's brown. And then make sure you rinse your cilantro. A lot of times it's very dirty. If you have um, a market in your area that's international, you can get culantro. It tastes very similar and it's less bitter. So for people who have a aversion to cilantro, culantro often um, is a better choice for them. I'll also add some lemon zest because juice would just fade in this. And as you saw, cilantro tends to stick on your blender, so just stop it, unwrap it, and keep it going, and you'll be fine. So next, I'm gonna put the juice of one whole lemon or lime. I really change it out based on what's on the refrigerator. It truly doesn't matter which one you use. You just need the acidity is gonna brighten up your seasoning. Uh, so whatever one you wanna use is fine. You can also add orange juice. Just, you're gonna make this your own. We're just make, coming up with like a master marinade seasoner that really cuts in your time of having to add a whole bunch of dry ingredients that don't have the same kind of punch and brightness that this marinade is gonna have. Now this may not be in love this sofrito or your green seasoning, but I've tested it for a long time and I've customized it to my own liking. I do use apple cider vinegar. It helps to mellow out the garlic. And again, it's a balance of the acidity. I add a little bit of olive oil and that helps it to not freeze completely solid and makes it easier to cook with. I have lemon flavor, you don't need that, but hey, why not add some more flavor? I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. This is not enough salt to season your dishes, so just be aware you're still gonna have to add salt, but I do like to add some salt to bring the flavor forward. Next, I'm gonna use Italian seasoning and oregano and thyme. You really can put whatever your basic herbs that you like to use. I find that these three work well together and they really can transcend most dishes. So it's not a clash of whatever I'm cooking. I also put some chipotle powder for a little smoking, smokiness and complexity. You can use smoked paprika. You could also use just regular chili powder. Now this silicone ice tray I got off of Amazon, the link will be below. Yes, I may get commission if you purchase it at no cost to you. However, the silicone bottom helps you to push it out. So we actually added the olive oil to help with that, as well as the silicone bottom. And what I really like about this tray is it has a top. This thing is pungent when you put it in your freezer. Do not put it next to your ice cream. And now it chills out after it freezes up. But when you first put it in there, don't put it next to your ice cream or your ice cream is gonna taste super weird. So I hope you enjoy this. I'm telling you, this is the key to flavorful meals. Don't mind my gloves. I didn't wanna smell like garlic all day.